Hello everyone, and welcome. If you've ever looked at a profit and loss statement and felt lost, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to clear up all that confusion. We're taking a P&L statement. That's short for profit and loss, and we're going to explain it piece by piece, in simple terms that everyone can understand. Think of a profit and loss statement like a report card that shows if a business is doing well with their money. It's important for everyone, whether you're running a business or just looking to learn more about how they work. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell so you won't miss out on our helpful videos. Stick with us, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to understand a profit and loss statement like a pro. Okay, this is a profit and loss statement from October 2023, from a sample company, not a real company but you will get the point. Now, let's, go line by line through this profit and loss statement. Total income. Design income, $1,275 This is money made from design services, offered by the company. It's a significant part of the company's revenue, showing a demand for their design expertise. Discounts given, minus $59.00 This figure reduces the total income, representing price reductions offered to customers, likely as a promotional strategy. Landscaping services, $437.50 Revenue earned from providing landscaping services. This indicates that landscaping is a key service offered by the company. Job materials. Fountains and garden lighting, $951.50 This expense is for purchasing fountains and lights used in landscaping projects. It's a major cost, suggesting high quality or numerous projects. Plants and soil, $400 money spent on plants and soil, essential components for landscaping jobs. This cost reflects the materials needed for their landscaping work. Total job materials, $1,351.50 The total amount spent on all materials necessary for completing jobs. It's a large portion of the expenses, crucial for the business's operations. Labor. Installation, $250 costs for labor specifically for installing landscaping elements. This is a relatively small but necessary expense for completing landscaping projects. Total Landscaping Services Total, $2,039 The sum of all revenue from landscaping services, including labor and materials. It shows the total financial contribution of landscaping services to the business. Other Income Categories Pest Control Services, $70 Income from Pest Control Services, suggesting a diversified range of services. Sales of product income, $868.75 revenue from products sold, possibly related to landscaping or design. Services, $103.55 earnings from various other services offered by the company, indicating a diverse business model. Cost of goods sold, COGS. Total COGS, $405 the total cost of items sold by the business. Keeping COGS low relative to income is crucial for profitability. Gross Profit Total, $3,892.30 The company's profit after subtracting the cost of goods sold from total income. It's a key indicator of the company's core profitability. Expenses Advertising, $74.86 money spent on marketing the business. This is important for attracting new customers. Automobile expenses, $227.82 costs for vehicle-related expenses, crucial for a business that requires travel or transport of goods. Equipment rental, $112, insurance, $241.23 costs for renting necessary equipment and insurance to protect the business. Job expenses, $514.54 The combined cost of materials for specific jobs, including decks, patios, and sprinkler systems. Legal and professional fees, $390 costs for legal advice and accounting services, essential for maintaining proper business operations. Maintenance and repair, $940 expenses on maintaining and repairing equipment, showing the company's investment in keeping their tools and equipment in good condition. 
Meals and Entertainment, $22.83, Office Expenses, $18.08 Smaller costs for running the business, like meals and office supplies. Net Operating Income Total, $1,350.94 profit made from the core business activities before any other expenses are deducted. It's a positive indicator of the company's operational efficiency. Other Expenses Miscellaneous, $2,000 Other unspecified costs, significantly impacting the company's profitability. Net Other Income Total, negative $2,000 expenses outside the company's main operations. It's a large figure that has turned the company's profitable operations into a loss. Net income. Total, negative $649.06 the final profit or loss after all incomes and expenses. Despite making money from its services, the company experienced a net loss due to high miscellaneous expenses.